Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we get started on today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment down in the comment section down below. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a 2024 election map based off, based off of the latest poll in every state. So this is not like another video where I did where I had you know the aggregate in this video it's going to be only the latest poll out of every state and we're going to go through all 50 states in this video instead of the ones that are most competitive and then see what it brings us to the end now without further ado let's get started on the state of alabama hasn't really been polled much but the polls that have come out has trump up by around 20 which is going to be a safe margin Moving on next to the state of Alaska, this state got surprisingly closer in the 2020 election where when Biden almost, uh, you know, get brought the state, you know, lower than 10 percentage points. But this time around shows Trump in the latest poll up by around 23 percentage points, which would put it safely in the safe column. Next, the state of Arizona. Uh, the latest poll in Arizona has Trump up by four, which puts the state in the lean column. Next, after Arizona, we're going to have the state of, uh, sorry, uh, Arkansas. And the latest poll of Arkansas does have Trump up by 32, which is going to put it in the safe margin. Moving next to the state of California. They do have an aggregate, even though the state is very safe. And the latest poll has Biden up by only 20 when he had won the state by 29 in the last election. Still, though, this stays in the safe column for Democrats. Next, we're going to have the state of Colorado, and the latest poll has Biden up by 10, not too surprising, out of a state that's shifting left every single election cycle. This will put it in the likely column for Joe Biden. Next, Connecticut. Connecticut only has Biden up by a likely margin, and if we recall in Connecticut in the last election, Biden had won by 20 percentage points. So after Connecticut, we're going to have the state of Delaware, which does not have any polls with Trump and Biden. So due to that factor, we're just going to keep it in the safe column. And after Delaware, we're going to have the state of well, D.C. and then Florida. But for D.C., there definitely is not polling. It's going to be in the safe column for Democrats no matter what. It's one of the, the most liberal district in the country. Um, and then we're going to get to Florida. Florida, you know, used to be a swing state, not anymore. Trump leads the aggregate by 11.2% on 538. And in the latest poll, he actually leads by a safe margin, 13 percentage points. This is going to be in the safe column for Donald Trump. Next, we're going to move to the state of Georgia. Georgia, another state where Biden had, you know, narrowly flipped in the 2020 election by 0.2 percent this time around trump is leading consistently in every poll the latest one is very narrow though it was created by a partisan uh, super PAC for the democrat party but trump still leads by a percent we're going to have this in the tilt column for donald trump next after georgia we're going to have a, a few safe states starting with hawaii but it's surprising that hawaii is only up biden up by a likely margin and Hawaii is one of those states that has, you know, been shifting to the right every election cycle, but has gone pretty unnoticed. For example, back in uh, 2008, Obama had won by 45. In 2012, he had won by 42. Clinton had won by 32. And then here, Biden had won by 29. So this is definitely one of those states that nobody really pays attention to, but is shifting considerably to the right every single election year. And I don't think, you know, it's going to be this close, but it's it seems like it is going to be closer once again. You know, that trend's going to continue. Next, we're going to have Idaho, which is a safe Trump state. And then moving on to the state of Illinois, which is a safe Biden state. In the latest poll, though, it only has up by 10. So it'll go in the likely margin for Biden. Moving on next to Indiana. Uh, not much polling. The latest one between Trump and Biden has Trump up by a safe margin. So that'll go in the safe column. And after uh, Indiana, we're going to have the state of Iowa. The latest poll has Biden up, uh, try, sorry, Trump up by 15. So it's in the safe column for Donald Trump. Next, we're going to move down to these states. A couple states that are going to be safe for Trump. We're going to have Kansas over here. And then we're going to have Kentucky. And then we're going to have Louisiana. So all these three states, Kansas, Kentucky and Louisiana are going to be safe for Donald Trump. Next, moving down 
to the state of Maine, a state that Biden had expanded on Clinton's margin. He won by 9.1%. Trump still held the second district, and the results are pretty surprising. Trump leads in the second district by a safe margin. Biden leads by the first, in the first district by a likely margin. And in you know Maine as a whole, Trump actually leads by a lean margin. So that's the results out of Maine from the polls that we do have. Moving on next to the state of Maryland, a safe Biden state. This will go down in the safe column, as well as the next state, the state of Massachusetts, also a safe Biden state. You know, not going to be competitive at all. And you know, Biden won by 33% last point last time, so it's not going to be competitive. Next, we're going to move on to the state of Michigan, one of the most important states, a state that Trump had flipped narrowly in 2016, and a state that Joe Biden flipped back Democrat in 2020. This state is highly contested, and we can see by the polls how close it is. The latest poll has Trump up by 1%. This will go in the tilt margin for Donald Trump. Next up, after the state of Michigan, we're going to have the state of Minnesota. Minnesota is a state that, you know, Joe Biden performed relatively well in. He did very well in Minnesota, in the Minnesota suburbs, a lot better from Clinton's narrow 1.5% win in 2016. However, this time around, it seems like it'll go back to what it was in 2016. The latest poll has Biden up by two, which will put this in the uh, lean margin for him, almost a tilt margin. Next, after the state of Minnesota, we're going to have a couple more safe Republican states. We're going to have the states of Mississippi. We're going to have the states of Missouri. And we're going to have Montana over here. So we're going to fill all of those out. Uh, Mississippi, Missouri, and Montana, all for safer Donald Trump. After the state of Montana, we're going to have Nebraska. And Nebraska, just like Maine, splits up their... Um, their districts so we're going to check here nebraska uh as a whole and we can see here that nebraska as a whole has trump obviously up by a safe margin over here as well as the first and third uh we can, but the second district here the previous two polls had trump up by narrow margin but the latest one has biden up by a lean margin so this will go in the lean margin for joe biden moving on past Nebraska, we're going to go to the state of Nevada, also one of the most important states in this election, a state that Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden won by the exact same 2.4%, which means it is trending right. Republicans were able to pick up the governorship two years ago and almost flip the Senate election uh, held by Catherine Cortez Masto. And this time around, Trump actually has a six-point advantage. Meanwhile, in the Senate, Democrats are definitely a lot more favored. So going to the latest poll, we're going to see that Trump is up by three, and this will put the state in the lean margin for him over here. Moving on to the state of New Hampshire, Biden is only up by four in the previous poll. He had led by a lot stronger margins in the past, you know, up to 10 and seven, but it really has narrowed down in the latest one. He does lead by four without any undecideds. So this will go in the lean margin for Joe Biden. And we're going to stop here to see that Trump has 166 electoral votes and Joe Biden has 137. There's still a few more swing states that have not covered yet, such as Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Te uh, North Carolina, and Texas. So we're going to get to those in a bit. But first, we're going to get rid of a few more safe Democratic states. New Jersey, you know, once thought a safe Democratic state, a state that uh, Joe Biden won by 16 last time around. This time, the latest poll only has him up by five. You know, that is a lean margin right here. That's very, very, very worrisome for him if that's true. And moving on to the state of New Mexico, a state that hasn't really been polled much and should really be polled more. The latest poll, you know, back in all the way in August has Joe Biden up by eight. And I do think it'll be a, a narrower margin than eight points. And this state definitely needs to be polled sometime soon to really get new data out. And we're going to go to New York now, another state that, you know, is originally very safe Democratic, went by Joe Biden by 23 points, but has seen a relatively large shift in the past four years. And polls consistently have Joe Biden only up by around, you know, nine to 12 points. One has him up by 19. The latest has him up by nine. This will be a likely margin for Joe Biden over here on this map. 
Next, after the state of New York, we're going to go to North Carolina, a state that Republicans were consistently able to win by narrow amounts since they lost in, in 2008 to Barack Obama. And this time around, you know, polls are saying the same thing. They do show Trump leading by a mar larger margin than he won in 2016. And, you know, it's hard to know if he's going to win by this margin, but the latest poll does him up by three. So this will be a lean margin on the map. After North Carolina, we're going to have a few more other states over here that are a little safe. We're going to have North Dakota, which doesn't really have any polling. It's going to be safe for Donald Trump. Next, after North Dakota, we're going to move to Ohio. Ohio, you know, used to be a more competitive state, but, you know, uh, under the Trump administration and, you know, in the 2020 election, it's become a lot more Republican. So, in the latest poll, Trump does lead by around 11 points, which is barely away from the safe margin. It's going to go in the likely margin. After the state of Ohio, we're going to have the state of Oklahoma. No surprises here. Very, very safe state for Donald Trump. And in Oklahoma, after Oklahoma, we're going to have the state of Oregon. And the latest poll does have it at a... Um, Likely margin, however, there's a lot of undecideds, but it'll go down as a likely margin on this map. Next, moving on to the state of Pennsylvania, probably the most important state in this election because of its 19 electoral votes, a state that Joe Biden won by about a percent in 2020 and one that Trump won by almost a percent in 2016. If Trump wins Georgia and Pennsylvania, he does not need any other of these swing states besides North Carolina. So this proves that it's very important. And right now he does lead the aggregate. But the latest poll by, once again, this same uh, super PAC that's for Democrats, sponsored by Democrats, does have Biden up by three. This will go in the lean margin for Joe Biden. Moving on to the next state on this map, we're going to have the state of Rhode Island. No surprises here. This is going to be a safe state for Democrats. And moving down past Rhode Island, we're going to have a couple more safe states like South Carolina, which would be safe for Donald Trump. We're going to have South Dakota, also safe for Donald Trump. And we're going to have Tennessee, which is also very safe for Donald Trump. So on this map, South Dakota, South Carolina, and Tennessee are all going to be safe for Donald Trump. Next, after the state of Tennessee, we're going to have the very crucial state of Texas. But not so close this election as, you know, previously. Biden had decreased Trump's lead from 9 points to 20 point, uh, sorry, 5.6 points in 2020 but it seems like it's being reversed it seems like it's going back to the right you know similar margins to what it was in 2008 uh yeah 2012 was very safe but we could see margins back to 2008 but built from a different coalition more around the hispanics and the rio grande valley than a lot of these suburbs that are trending left so um the polls right now do have a very favorable for Trump. The latest one has him up by a likely margin. The state will go down as a likely margin. And Trump has eclipsed that 270 electoral vote margin. And we still have a few more states to go. So next, we're going to go to the state of Utah, which the latest poll has him up, Trump up by 24. There had been a few ones that had him up close before, but uh, now that they're you know, pulling it more, uh, you know, a little more, we see that Trump leads by a pretty comfortable margin. Uh, next, after the state of Utah, Vermont. No surprises here in Vermont. One of the most liberal states. It's going to go by Joe Biden by a safe margin. And then after Vermont, Virginia, a state that is supposed to be very left trending since uh, Joe Biden doubled Hillary Clinton's margin from 2016 to 2020, but the latest poll and the latest polls in general have had it at a really, really close margin. The latest one has Biden only up by two, so this would be a lean margin on the map. And in the state of Washington, the previous polls, you know, had a, a really close margin. The latest one, also by a uh, partisan group sponsoring the Democrats, does have him up by a safe margin so this state will go into the safe margin moving on to west virginia no surprises here a safe state and then next moving on to wisconsin one of the most prime pickup opportunities for donald trump he lost the state by such a narrow amount and he was able to win it back in 2016 by almost a percent what do the polls show right now a dead heat you know trump up you know narrowly in some most he's up by a little bit 
tied in many of them and when once in a while biden leads and once again we have this uh same uh super pack sponsored by the democrats but they do show a tie in the latest one so this will go in the tied section and then you know no surprises on the latest state the last state it's going to be the state of wyoming where trump is going to win by a safe margin so this is what we have right now 285 for trump 243 for biden and then wisconsin is tied on the latest poll this is not the aggregate that's why you know this is very funky a lot of these states where <laughs> new jersey and pennsylvania are in the same column but this is based on the latest poll this is not based on the aggregate so this is this will do it all for this video thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe and comment this video and i'll check you guys out in the next one